Today on my series flip through and review, I have another level from Grammar Galaxy. This is Supernova Volume 7 and is meant for grades 8 and up. So stick around with me. I'm going to show you all inside and go over a little bit um, overview of the previous levels, which... Friends, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Arlene with Arlene and Company. As I said before, I received in exchange for my honest review, Grammar Galaxy Supernova Volume 7. This is the latest level that was released, and this is for grades 8 and up. If you're interested in the lower levels and um, you want to take a look at that and you say, hey, that sounds great, but I really need it for you know, elementary or, or whatever not. Know that my previous reviews live in IGTV and there is going to be a link down below to my page guide for Grammar Galaxy all the way from Nebula Volume 1 and forward. So even if you're doing like entry level middle school or elementary, you can find those reviews there and take a closer look and so on. So know that this is something we have known for quite some time, actually a little history, um, just so you guys know our background with it. Our first year of homeschooling, I decided to use only free resources that I found online, like free curricula, secular stuff. And um, that's what we did until I got my feet wet and decided like, okay, what is our style? What, how my kiddos learn best and stuff like that. And then I decided I really wanted something to purchase, you know, cause I, I wanted a curriculum, you know, you homeschool and then you decide you want a curriculum, right? Okay. Um, that I wanted something that was a little bit out of the box for language arts for my reluctant um, language art kiddo and for my kiddo that was struggling. Um, and that's how I arrived to Grammar Gal. Years we have used it on and off is something that kind of we enter with. You know, you guys know I'm blend. We're blenders, but people do use this as their, you know, their core and um, stem from there. So that is that. I am an affiliate because I've been using them for quite some time. So you guys know I only become an affiliate when I've known a product for a while and um, can genuinely recommend it. Um, so you will find my affiliate link below if it's something that works for you. No full disclosure for my secular followers. The author is Christian, but this curriculum is secular. You will find other items in her store when you hit the link that will be faith-based material. And then you will see the link to Grammar Galaxy on its own page and just click to that. So yes, this is secular. I know I get asked all the time because um, there's other materials the on The only thing side. that you will see in the earlier um, levels in addition is her dedication uh, mentions God um, on her dedication, but that's it. There's nothing in the actual curricula that is faith-based. There we go. Okay. Housekeeping is done. Let's get, take a look at this. All right. You receive this really cool, quick grammar guide. I want to go over with everything that comes with your full bundle um, when you purchase this curriculum. So let's say you are um, interested in Supernova Volume 7. You haven't done any of the previous one. You don't know the backstory. This is a story base. Don't worry, there's gonna be a prologue that is gonna introduce you to the characters and what the story is about. So you receive the um, your, your text, right? And this is the Grammar Galaxy Adventures in Language Arts and then the Mission Manual. So here is where you're gonna have your stories and this is where your consumable product is gonna be. This is where your students are going to write in this book, do whatever, and your answer keys are gonna be in the letters um, for the following week. So the answer keys are gonna be there. So once they reach um, that level of independence that they're able to check their own work, the answers are in there as well. So not here. So here is strictly your stories, vocabulary, and things like that. this really cool thing. And I don't think I got this the first year. So I'm so, you know, I'm so excited that this was added. And this is a quick grammar guide um, for verbs and nouns. And then it shows you, now obviously it hasn't made it all the way up to the Nova and Supernova levels, um, but here it shows you 
what um, level these concepts are introduced. So in Nebula, you go over proper, singular, plural pronouns, adjectives, and um, articles. So that is covered on there. And then you know in Protostar, you're gonna have um, possessive nouns and so on. So you can see in Yellowstar, these concepts are covered. So if you say, okay, maybe I have a fifth grader, but they haven't done all this, then you can start at a level um, or a volume that is a, a little bit earlier. Take the, uh, the placement test. There's a placement test available. There's also a scope and sequence available on the website. And that also gives you a good idea if you're new to Grammar Galaxy and not just going on to the next level. Um, so anyways, it comes with this cool little card. It comes with one of these highlighters. These are old highlighters. Um, I have quite a few, like I said, and we've been using this for a while. This is not the recent one, and it's gonna annoy me to no end, the recent one was like all orange. And um, obviously it said Grammar Gal Galaxy right on it. Um, but it was all orange and it looked cool. Ask me where it is. A child has taken possession of it and I have no idea where it is. But anyways, these are some of the older ones. So you can see the evolution of the highlighter. So these are erasable highlighters. So they make them extra special, especially in the Nebula um, level. It, they don't have to do a lot of writing or none at all. They can highlight the answers. So if you're like concerned of your kiddos being able to like write at that level or things like that, they don't have to. And this is like a little tool that comes with it. It also comes with a bookmark for each level. On um, the bookmark, it's gonna have stars for them to achieve these stars as they reach a certain section, which I will show you how that works. So you have a star for when you um, get the literature challenge, the spelling, vocabulary, the grammar, the composition speaking, and these are the levels that they are gonna do. And this serves as their bookmark as well with their guardian, um, their grammar guardian pledge that they're introduced to, which is I'm committed to fulfilling my duties as a guardian of grammar galaxy the most important of which is to read. I pledge to choose good books that I can read myself or listen to. I will do my very best to read every day so I can learn, enjoy life, and keep the galaxy strong. So anyways, this is a pledge they were introduced from the very, very first level. Um, they um, achieve like um, certain status or levels as they go on with this curricula. Um, so if you have a gamer, that is something that's usually a really big hit. So let me just go over what all the levels are before we go a full review of that. I will have some timestamps. So in case you're just not interested in the overview and you just wanna skip on forward, that's totally fine. All right, so volume one is gonna cover first and second grade. I am not gonna, I have done full reviews of this. I'm not gonna show you all inside and things like that. I just wanna go over the levels with you. Um, volume two is Protostar. So you have Nebula, it's Protostar. And that is recommended for third grade. Now know if you started your kiddo, maybe your kiddo was ready for it in kinder and they're done with this and they're not third grade yet, but they've completed Nebula, they can move on to the next level regardless of grade. All right, so that you can take that by ear. Then you have Yellow Star, which is volume three. That's recommended for fourth grade and up. Then you have volume four. Are we still in? There we go. Volume four, which is Red Star, and that is recommended for fifth and up. Can we keep stacking? I think we can. Then we have Blue Star, volume five, that is recommended for six and up. So this is your first level in middle school level. And then you have Nova, um, and this was like some of the recent release, Blue Star and Nova. Nova is volume six it for grade seven and up. So now, eighth and up. So um, for your eighth graders, or maybe your high schooler needs a little review, uh, I'm not really sure um, if, that is something your high school would um, high schooler would want to do, but take a look. Hey, every kiddo is different, um, but take a look at that. All right, so let's look at the story base first before we have um, the mission manual. So basically, the premise of this is you have um, the English kids. They're you know that's their names, um, their last name, and they are um, in this galaxy. And the gremlins do all kinds of mayhem to um, like destroy the galaxy or try to destroy that galaxy. So each lesson is a mission instead of a lesson and they have to help the English um, children um, achieve whatever task in their mission manual to be able to save Grammar Galaxy 
for another day. So like I said, you will have um, on here, there's a note for the students. If this is their first level that they've had this and they need a, just a quick little like, okay, what is this all about? Here's the prologue. Knows. Oh, okay. So this is the whole story. So they're not lost. All right. So here they are divided into units. Um, and let's go back to the table of contents. So you have the notes to the teacher, a note to the student, the prologue that introduces the story in case this is your first level. And you have this divided into units. So the first unit is adventures in literature. So that is gonna be the main topic of where the stories are gonna be based. The second unit in this level is gonna be adventures in spelling and vocabulary. And this is consistent throughout the levels, right? Um, then you have adventures in grammar, adventures in composition and speaking, and um, then you reach towards the end. So this will have a total in each of these levels of 36 chapters. So if you follow a regular school year and you want to have this divided in exactly that format, or even if you're a, um, a year round schooler, you know that you can finish this in 36 weeks. This is very doable. Some kiddos finish this in like two, three days, um, the, the missions and things like that, obviously, it may take a little longer as you know the um, work progresses. Um, here, for example, you have uh, under the first unit satire and censorship, fact checking, science and reading, theme, symbolism, tone and mood, point of view, foreshadowing, movies as literature. Um, you have phonetic spelling. So a lot of the questions is like, okay, so is it like spelling, spelling where you have a list and stuff? It's not going to have like a list for them to memorize and then you, you know, you test them on the list. You are going to have included vocabulary within the stories and you're going to learn some spelling rules throughout. But but um, you can, um, you know, pull your own words if you like. But in the traditional sense of a spelling program, it's not going to look like that. All right. So foreign words, writing with numbers, hyphens, confused vocabulary, slang and jargon, idioms, um, shades of meaning, word analogies. I always like to go over the table of contents. I think that really helps paint a big picture. So bear with me. Um, so, um, then adventures in grammar. So as you can see, it's not just all just like strictly grammar and that's it. Um, subject versus object pronouns, indefinite and other pronouns, progressive tense, grammatical mood, um, particles, infinites, clauses and phrases misplaced modifiers, colons, semicolons, dashes, and um, parentheses, para um, parallel structure. And then under adventures in composition and speaking, you have creative exercises, sentence starters, passive voice, concise writing, writing and business email. Know that even in the earliest level, if you are doing this family style, you're going to have a challenge um, for advanced guardians. That's what they call it. So if your kiddo um, is able to write more or do more or whatever not, there's going to be an opportunity for them to have an extra assignment or something a little bit more complex. So here again, writing business email, writing blog posts, interview essays, podcasting, persuasive speaking, and then so on from there. Um, you have the appendix that has um, answers to comprehension questions and things like that. So um, the answers to your mission manual, things are going to be in your mission manual. Um, then you go into your first story. So your chapters are your story. So this is story based. If you're a Charlotte Mason homeschooler, obviously this is um, not such like the literature living type of books, but it will be in that same vein and with the shorter lesson framework. So this really usually resonates with Charlotte Mason homeschoolers um, because it's story based and you're pulling all these lessons from the stories itself. All right, so as you can see, you have what I was talking about, the vocabularies, and each week is going to be in bold, and here you're gonna have a quick definition of it. Um, here is where they are like talking to the screen. Screen is like their computer, and I think you just call it screen. <laughs> and then it goes into um, some exact definition, like just like they look something up in the dictionary, and it's gonna be right on there within the story. So you have the story, um, you know, with uh, the English children saving the galaxy and one problem after the other. Um, so if your kiddo is just like big on those type of things, this usually resonates really well with them. Um, again, here you have a um, additional um, vocabulary words of what they mean and those concepts, not vocabulary itself, but the concepts that you're going to be covering and um, how you're going to go about with the guidebook and do the mission. So here, for example, we're talking about parody um, and so on. 
Um, here also de um, deals with censorship and um, it, it's cool exercise about, you know, book banning and things like that. Um, and having it, looking at it from a non-biased eyes and say, okay, what does this mean to you? Do you think this was you know what I mean? Uh, like this was correct or not in your opinion. So I, I, I like the take of it. I really um, did enjoy this particular lesson. My kiddos are not at this level yet. So obviously this was me just consuming all this information myself, but obviously I can compare and contrast with everything else that we've done. Um, then you have some comprehension questions at the end of each chapter, and that's where you would find the answers in the appendix of what they're looking for um, answer-wise to these questions. Um, and some of this is just pretty quick. So, you know, what is censorship? When authority eliminates, punishes, or hides communication, it does not approve of. And then just go from there so that you know what kind of answers you're looking for. Um, you know, if you want to put it in a more narration form, you definitely can. But just like strict comprehension questions. And then it just continues on like that. So here's the next one is on fact checking. So you have the story, you have the screen, uh, which is the uh, where they look it up. And then it goes on from that. So as you can tell, this is all just story based, but you have the element of them talking to the screen to the computer and then you have the copy of what the computer spit back at them um, right on there which explains basically the lesson and um, what they're going to be trying to figure out and work so out. Here is your mission manual. This is where your bulk of your work is going to be. Know that some levels do have an audiobook available so if your kiddo struggles with dyslexia or anything like that or you know this is um, perfectly set out uh, as a read aloud. So if you need to still read it to your kiddo, you definitely can do that. But if they can read it themselves, then you have more independence in that way. Um, of course, with the actual teaching component, they um, may still need, obviously, your support. Um, so here, this is going to mimic the same um, table of contents, but it's going to call it mission. So this is their mission manual. Um, and you have it divided mission one, mission whatever. So um, just to talk about the levels, because they also have a Facebook group if your kiddo's like interest, interested in like, you know, anybody else using it. Um, and they ask them what level they are. It would be Supernova. And let's say they're on mission 10. They are level Supernova 10. So that's how that works. Just letting you know. Here you see the literature um, literature challenge, the challenge um, part. This is how they earn their stars. And what we just did, we just like kind of just colored it in with a marker with a Sharpie. And that's when they would earn it. They have, um, let's say they did not do well on the challenge. They have an uh, additional like test or quiz um, right on there with different like kind of different questions, but in the same vein. So they have another opportunity um, to do better with it. So so once they achieve that, um, they pass those individual challenge, then you shade that in. So like, like I said, it kind of just feels like a little bit like a video game to me. Um, and that's always especially how my son has taken it. Um, again, I'm not going to go over the table of contents again, but as you can see, it just follows that and in, um, of course, more detail and you can see the update. The update is where they're going to have the letter from the English kiddos um, and um, it, they're gonna say, oh yeah, you, you did it, you know, you have accomplished it, and then it's gonna have the answers to the previous mission on there. So they can't see it until they reach the next part. Um, you have the note to teachers and note to students as um, it continues. And then here is your mission. So this is how they get, they get official guardian mail. You also, um, when you sign up with um, your email, obviously you get a monthly um, guardian um, grammar galaxy challenge. So you can do some additional challenges throughout the month and it has a daily challenge that you can do as well. Um, usually is related to reading, you know, reading, writing or anything like that. So that is something that, where you could extend your lessons even more. Um, especially like if you're someone like it's like a brave writer 
your lifestyle um, home, that's something that usually resonates. So like for example, mission one, um, satire and censorship shut down because of censorship that concerns our father, even though he doesn't like a lot of the articles the paper has written about him. Using this information about satire, please complete this mission. We'll send your opinion about censorship to the members of parliament. Thanks in advance. Sincerely, Kirk, Luke and Ellen English, Guardians of Grammar Galaxy. And then it has this copy again, what you saw in this uh, in the story with screen explaining those part is going to be right on here on their guardian mail so they can reference it right in their manual without even having to pull out the the text okay the missions are going to be divided into steps so here is you know where if you want a little bit tipping this is something that you would like to do how we divided it um, maybe at first your kiddo can only handle one step a day so maybe you can do um, the missions in three in three days do the story in one day um, and then st stretch it out four days if you like to do that that's not what we did we did that at the beginning my kiddos like to do the story and pretty much bang out the missions in like two days tops and then that's how we add all their stuff as well so you have the three-step missions and then you may have um, something for advanced guardian only. So this is where you would have something additional for your kiddos that are a little bit more advanced or they can handle more, or maybe you have an older child doing a specific level and that's what you can do. So here is their first one. The first one is usually, you know, it, it's a mixture, kind of like workbook style, but interactive. Like there was um, one of the first missions with the Nebula one was actually going to trip on, um, on the library and um, learning how to um, work and, and read call numbers and find things like that. So that was very interactive. So even though it looks like a workbook, there is a lot of the activities that requires them to, or not like a lot, don't get scared, but there's um, several different mixture of activities and some of them that requires them to do something like pull magazines, pull this, or you know what I mean? And just do a lot of different references that is aside from what they're seeing on the paper. Um, so here, for example, you have step one on guard identity um, satire, and then uh, it's a true or false, and then write each word in a sentence because again, you're working with the same vocabulary words, so you have that vocabulary component on there. Um, here, you know, identify it, um, so you have that in that um, same format. Again, this is still step one. Uh, where you're going to see where it varies is that uh, lower levels, their steps may be a little bit shorter um, and things like. Like that and obviously the content is a little bit more advanced um, then here you have step two answer the questions about each example and then you know these things are like you know get some like of the critical thinking um, and, and giving them these like visual uh, uh, representation of what these um, uh, definitions mean um, again you're working with your vocabulary and you know they can, if your kiddo doesn't like to draw and stuff like that you can totally change it up however fits your needs um, then response to censorship who what who is being protected is the censorship okay why or why not um, and then getting them their opinion without inserting like you know the specific whatever your specific thought is on it um, and getting their views on it so I thought that was pretty cool how that was handled um, you guys know we read banned books here <laughs> um, so I appreciated the way that this was presented um, anyways uh, vocabulary victory and then here for example for an advanced guardian assignment um, be... the additional lesson that you can add to your kiddo if they can handle it or they want to um, this week choose a person or a group you would like to poke fun at even if you're a member of that group brainstorm ideas so this is like mimicking these satires and things like that that they are learning about and um, go from there because you know they're going to be writing a news article um, as part of this um, you know this unit uh, because remember all this uh, all these missions are part of this per, um, specific unit um, and then go from there like political other leaders celebrities popular culture and so on and so on and then here um so you say mission update so it tells them you know awesome good job you did it and then um you find the solutions on to everything on the next page so you even if they get to flip to their official guardian update um, you still have to flip another page to find the answers. Um, so 
if your kiddo can self-check or you're going to do it together, however you choose to do that, um, you can go ahead and do that. So, and then you have your next mission and then that's how it continues on. So I'll just do a little flip as I talk, just so you can get an idea of what this looks like. Um, so again, if your kiddo is someone that just likes, a, or you have a mixture of different language arts, uh, like we do, um, they can definitely like bang this out in I would say conservatively in three days, some kiddos that are very motivated, um, less, um, and it also can be stretched out to a four or five day week, um, depending on how you do it and how you break it up. At this level, I, I foresee them doing it, uh, like taking 10 to 15 minutes a day and maybe a three day schedule. Um, that's my personal opinion. You guys may do it of things a little bit differently but i know i'm trying to answer a lot of the questions that i get often all right so that is supernova this is for grade eight and up um so if you have someone a little bit older but they need to review a lot of the concepts cover in this level then this can be something you consider so again you would get the yes you need both <laughs> it doesn't make sense one without the other like the stories are here you it just doesn't make sense you do need both so you buy it in the full bundle um, but let's say you're doing this for multiple kiddos you need one of each of this. They also have digital copies. Um, so if you want to do the digital file, this is massive, you guys. So I'm not a, a digital girl, but I know some people are. And maybe you have a few kiddos that you're doing this with, and that's just more cost effective for you. Um, you know, you can check out that, but it, you would need a mission manual for each kid. Okay, so a mission manual for each kit. Your mission manual will come with a bookmark and you have the highlighter. You can order additional highlighters as well or additional things. My kiddos also have t-shirts um, and you can check those out too because they it's fun. I mean, I just think it's so fun when you can like add so much element and bring it to life and make it more of a, you know, like a style, you know, instead of just like, open this book to this page and let's do verbs. I don't know, I just find it. I hear kids laughing. I think it's time to end this review. <laughs> Here you go. If you have questions, let me know down below. As always, thank you so much for your presence. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.